In this video, we are going to learn all about mean. Another word for mean that you might have heard before is the word average. And the mean, or the average, is a number that you can determine for a set of data that gives you a sense for the average of all of the data. To figure out the mean, what you do is add up or take the sum of all your different data points. This symbol right here is the symbol for sum. So if all of your data points you think of as x, then we're going to take the sum of all the different data points from the first one all the way up to the last one, and then divide by the number of data points. And that's how you can compute the average or the mean for a set of data. If you have all the set of data for the whole population, then the mean is noted by this symbol, which is pronounced as mu. Let's look at an example to get a sense for what the mean is really telling us. Here are five scores from test number one in your math class. Based on these five scores, what is the average? Well, to figure out the average or the mean, what we're going to do is add up all five numbers and then divide by five because there are five numbers. So what we're going to do is add 82 plus 80 plus 90 plus 84 plus 86 and then divide all that by five. And again, you were dividing by five because there are five numbers. When we add up those five numbers, we get 422. And when we divide that by five, we get our average is 84.4. So what that tells you is there were five people that took the test. Most people got around an 84.4. And in that case, that's true. Most people were in the 80s. We had one score that was a 90. So the average is a good representation of how everyone did on that test. Now let's look at a second set of data for another test. On this test, the scores were 60, 100, 85, 60, and 100. So to figure out the average, we can add up all six or all five numbers and then divide by five. And what we get is 81. Now I want you to think about the difference between these two averages. They're actually pretty similar as far as the numbers. We had 84.4 and 81. But the data was much different. On the first test, pretty much all the scores were in the same place. They were between 80 and 90. But on the second test, there was a big range of scores. Some people got 60 and some people got 100 and only one person actually got in the 80s, which is what the average was. So the reason this is important is you can't assume that if you know the average that you know the whole story. So if I just told you that the average was 81 and didn't tell you the test scores, you can't assume that that means everyone got around an 81. It could mean that there were some very high scores and very low scores that averaged out to be 81. So if you want the whole picture about a set of data, you need more than just the average or the mean in order to understand it. That being said, the mean is a great way to get some information about a set of data and is one of the measures of central tendency.